Stop that noise! Mom, this is not noise. This is music. You need to turn it off right now. Okay, fine. We have heard of different kinds of pollution, such as air pollution, water pollution and soil pollution. But there is another type of pollution that is invisible. You can't see it, but you can definitely hear it. What is it? That's right, noise pollution. And that's going to be the topic of this video. You may be surprised by these facts. The leading cause for hearing loss is not aging. It's noise pollution. 20% of teenagers have reported hearing loss due to loud noise. And according to the World Health Organization, currently 1.5 billion people, that's about 20% of the world population, live with hearing loss. So you may be surprised by these facts, but these facts are true and they're all due to noise pollution. Before we talk about noise pollution, let's first understand what do we mean by noise. I'm going to play some sounds for you and you tell me which sounds are noise and which ones are not. Are you ready? So what do you think? Which sounds were noise? The first sound was soothing music that was pleasant to the ears. So that's definitely not noise. The second one, the sound of traffic, which had the honking of vehicles is irritating. So that is noise. In the third sound, people are talking. So that's not noise. Of course, if people start shouting, you'll say that is noise. The fourth sound of sirens is definitely noise since it is loud and disturbing. Now what about the last one, the rock music? You may love rock music and enjoy it even if it is loud. It might be music to you, but to your parents, maybe they don't like it and feel it is too loud. So it is noise for them. So music and noise classification is definitely subjective. What may be music to you might be noise to another person. Now in science, how do we differentiate between music and noise? Music is pleasant to listen to and the sounds have a rhythm, melody and structure. Musical sounds have a regular repeating pattern and do not have any sudden changes in the sound. Noise on the other hand is unpleasant, unwanted, loud and random sounds. They are irregular in nature and have sudden changes in the sound. The presence of loud and unwanted disturbing sounds, that is noise, in our environment is called noise pollution. What are the major sources of noise pollution? Noise pollution can come from various sources, such as transportation noise. This is noise produced on roads by cars, trucks, motorcycles and buses, and the sound of their horns. Aircrafts produce takeoff and landing noises. Moving trains and train horns also generate a lot of noise. Industries and factories cause noise pollution. For example, factory machinery, generators and production processes produce noise. Construction sites produce a lot of noise. There is drilling, hammering and heavy machinery in the construction of buildings that disturbs the neighborhood. Neighborhood and community noise is caused by loud music at parties, concerts and public events and is a source of noise pollution. The public address systems, announcements, loudspeakers and bursting of firecrackers also add to noise pollution. Emergency services such as sirens produced by police cars, fire trucks and ambulances are necessary but they are also contributing to noise pollution. These were all sources of outdoor noise pollution. But we can have noise pollution indoors as well. For example, noise pollution at home can be caused by appliances such as vacuum cleaners, blenders, washing machines, fans and air conditioners. 
Noise can come from home entertainment systems such as televisions, music systems and gaming consoles. Commercial and public spaces such as restaurants and cafes have kitchen noise, the chatter of people and background music. Shopping centers and sports stadiums also generate a lot of noise. Now that we know the sources of noise pollution, let's look at the harmful effects of noise pollution. Noise pollution can have various harmful effects on both human health and the environment. First, let's talk about the health effects on humans. Prolonged exposure to high noise levels can lead to permanent hearing damage and hearing loss. Excessive noise can disrupt sleep patterns leading to insomnia, sleep deprivation and fatigue. Continuous exposure to noise can cause stress, anxiety, irritability and can even contribute to mental health disorders. Noise pollution has been linked to increased risks of hypertension, heart diseases and other cardiovascular problems. Noise can affect concentration, memory and learning abilities particularly in children and students. Noise pollution has a negative impact on our environment as well. Loud noise can disrupt animal behavior, migration patterns, feeding habits and breeding cycles, leading to population declines and ecological imbalances. Underwater noise pollution can affect marine life such as whales and dolphins by disrupting communication and causing stress. Noise pollution masks natural sounds like chirping of birds, reducing the enjoyment of natural environments and impacting the overall quality of life for humans and wildlife alike. Continuous exposure to noise can cause annoyance, discomfort and dissatisfaction with living conditions and reduce our productivity. So we must take steps to control noise pollution. Even small reductions in noise can have a major impact. Studies show that a 5 decibel noise reduction would reduce the prevalence of high blood pressure by 1.4% and coronary heart disease by 1.8%. The annual economic benefit was estimated at $4 billion. Isn't that a lot for such a small noise reduction? So what are the things that you and I can do to reduce noise pollution? At home, we should not play the television or music system too loudly. When driving a vehicle, we should not blow the horn unnecessarily. This is a big problem, especially in India, where most of the traffic noise is from unnecessary honking. I have made it a habit not to blow the horn unless really needed. It's just a matter of self-control and being conscious of it. And I would encourage you also to take the no horn challenge if you are driving now or later in life when you drive a vehicle. If we all work on this, it will really help reduce the noise pollutions in cities a lot. We can also avoid bursting of firecrackers. The firecrackers cause sound and air pollution. Loudspeakers at functions and parties should be played at low volume and not be played at night. The government should take steps to plan the cities and towns in a way where residential areas, schools and hospitals are away from the main roads and highways. Trees should be planted around buildings as they'll help to absorb the noise. The noise producing factories and airports should be far away from the residential areas in the city. Soundproofing can be done in hospitals, offices and school buildings to reduce the level of noise. So let's all work together to reduce noise pollution and improve the health of people and our environment. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it out with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And do check out our website manuchaacademy.com and our Android app Manucha Academy. We have full courses for you on science, maths, coding and artificial intelligence. Links are given below, so do check it out. So let's all work together and reduce noise pollution.